For the past five months, he's appeared to be a placid, peaceful bank customer who, by sheer force of personality, has managed to get tellers to hand him cash. Then he blew it. News Channel 5's Tim Malloy is live at the Palm Beach County Jail tonight with more on the capture of the so-called withdrawal bandit and the high-risk, low-return, in-general policy of robbing, robbing banks. Tim? Yeah, they got him, Shannon. There are about 300 bank robberies a day in the United States, but few alleged serial bank robbers have ever shown so little regard for being identified. Cool as a cucumber, but not as smart as he might have looked. Detectives say Glenn Cooper made an extraordinarily boneheaded move by returning to a bank he had already robbed and then re-robbed it. ID'd by a teller, he and his girlfriend Kimberly Smith were collared on I-95. Twelve banks, maybe 50 grand later. The road for the Bonnie and Clyde wannabes came to a dead stop in Lantana. Their method was simple and direct. He said he made, needed to make a withdrawal, and he always asked for hundreds, fifties, and twenties. But the fact that he made virtually no effort to disguise himself spoke to his desperation or his arrogance. Detectives say the couple had drug habits. Retired detective Tom Watley, who was arrested a few bank robbers in his day, said they were also not very smart. I would say it's probably the dumbest crime you could do because the usually at, at sooner or later you get caught. Like this guy who Watley said had a drug habit so out of control he got reckless. Yeah, he wanted to party and have a good time before he went back to jail. Bank robberies are even riskier than other crimes because the FBI often joins the search with local police agencies and because holdups can be construed as kidnappings. The thieves vary in motivation. We have seen bank robbers who are just the worst of the worst. They have a goal and a mission. They'll come into banks with you know, AK-47s, like for instance, the uh, um, the bank robbery out in California yeah. that involves 70 police officers in a shootout. You have that extreme all the way to somebody who has lost their job, they can't feed their kids, and they think they can do an easy score. Bad decision, because bank robberies rank among the crimes solved most quickly. Uh, bail for the two suspects has been set as at a combined $818,000. The judge underscoring they cannot use any of their stolen money to bail themselves out. They told detectives on the scene they both had drug habits. They were stealing the money to try to get treatment for the drug habits. Go figure. Back to you.